All right, everyone, welcome to Sour Horsepower and welcome to my construction zone, which is my garage. Um, so today we're gonna go over, we finally got the parts in for the 124 Spider. Well, I would, shouldn't say finally got them in. I finally ordered them and received them. I talked about getting our first upgrades for the 124 Spider of Barth back in June or July. But basically what we got, see, tripping over stuff already. In this box here, ignore the mess. Like I said, construction zone. Um, what I got here in this box is Euro Compulsion Stage 1, and then a, I guess, part of Stage 2, which is the exhaust crossover pipe. So we will go ahead and look at that in a minute. I got spider webs falling on me. <laughs> but first, I want to go ahead and take a look, show you guys an update on the garage. Um, I'm going to go ahead and flip this around. But, yeah, as you can see, um, we got... Some good progress. Let's go ahead. Let me see if I can zoom this out. There we go. So we're getting there. Um, basically, the stage that we're at now is doing all the mud. We did our first pass on the mud. You can see like here, we have to fill this stuff in. Um, we're going to go ahead and continue to work on this. But it's going to be a couple weeks because we are actually going this weekend to Austin and to the Formula One race down there. But... This all will pick up again soon because we still got to do a whole bunch of stuff. Like I have to come in and do all the sanding, all the mudding. It's just a lot of stuff. Like we remember that's a new patch right there in the wall. We have to do all these seams again. It's just a lot of work and it's going to take some time because I wanted to save money and do it myself. Ooh, actually see here, look. See that we have to re-tape this join that back together, mud it. So it's just a lot of work. And when you do it yourself and you're still working full time and relying on people to come help you because you don't know what you're doing, me, I don't know what I'm doing. It takes time, but eventually it will be done. Hopefully. So let's go ahead and start tearing into these boxes and see what parts I finally got in for the 124 Spider of Barth. All right, apologies again for the dirty floor, but like we just talked about, construction zone. In this top box should be our stage one, so that's going to be the Euro Compulsion Tuner, the coil packs, spark plugs, and the diverter valve. And the representative at Euro Compulsion said that that should be good for almost 40 wheel horsepower on a car that already only had like 165. So um, yeah, that should be a good upgrade just with that. But then he said, I was like, I want to, I want to do a little bit more than just stage one. So he said, in this box here is the crossover pipe for the exhaust. And um, when we open that up, I will show you and explain a little bit more about that. But this should give us another 5 to 10 horsepower. So hopefully about 50 horsepower to the wheels more than what it is stock. So that will put us around the 180 uh, horsepower range. But in order to do that, and in order to figure out exactly how much, horsepower we're gaining. I want to do a before and after dyno. So unfortunately, even though we have these parts right now, I kind of want to wait until I get the car stock on the dyno, then do the parts and then put on the dyno after. Now, if you guys don't care about that, what the stock numbers are, let me know. I'll skip the first part. We'll go ahead and slap these things on and then just do an after dyno. But right now, go ahead and comment below if you want to see a before and after comparison and we'll make that happen. If not, we'll go ahead and slap these things on and then just do an after dyno. And yeah, but let's get these boxes opened up. All right, trying to do this one-handed. Let's see, you get a little Euro Compulsion tuning thing. Cool. All right, now we can get this here. Oh, wow, okay, all right. So, okay, what do we got here? This is like a little gift thingy. I think uh, some dumb dumb lollipops. <laughs> That's cool, I guess. Let's go ahead and get this opened up. It looks like a keychain, and then the spark plugs are in this bag as well. Oh my gosh. I'm struggling with the one hand. Hold on. Okay, so in there we had two lollipops. Go ahead and enjoy them in a little bit. Nice little Euro Compulsion key tag chain thing. Looks like a, yeah. A uh, little Euro Compulsion card, another card. Installation instructions on our website. A sticker, yep, a sticker, and then these are the 
spark plugs that are part of their stage one kit. So it's part number here, DCPR9EIX, 2316s. So, yep, four NGK Iridium spark plugs. All right, what else we got in here? So that's that. Here's the GFB Go Fast Bits Diverter Valve. Yeah, we'll go ahead and open this up. Here, be right back. All right, so we got a box inside of a box. I kind of manhandled that thing to get it open, but let's go ahead, pop that out, and boom. Well, I probably should have been more careful with this. So here you go. Diverter valve, you got your bolts there, some springs. Should probably put that back so I don't lose that stuff. And then I'm assuming some sort of instruction manual. Cool. I'm gonna go ahead and put that back, <laughs> then we'll get on to this stuff. All right, so that fancy packaging is off. Um, very, very holographic um, box here. Let's go ahead, another, another tag. Oh my Lord. Don't cut yourself. Don't cut yourself. There we go. Okay. All right. There we go. So this is going to be our Euro Drive Plus tuner. Go ahead. What else we got in here? So there's all your cables. Boom. And I'm sure some instructions down there. Then you got the little tuning deck right here. But yeah, they do all their tuning remotely. So basically what you end up doing is you fill out a form on their website and then first you go you plug this into your car you download your stock file on here then you go ahead and then you fill out the form telling them what mods you have upload and then upload that form send it up to them then they will send you through like a share drive sort of thing um a tune back to you then you download it on here boom pop it in your car and you're off to the races but these last four things should be coil packs. And if I remember reading correctly, these are actually coil packs from the Alfa Romeo Giulia, if I remember correctly. If not, I will um, correct myself here. I'll put a little caption down. But I'm pretty sure these are Giulia coil packs based on the part number you see right there. The 02215040026, made in Slovenia. Bosch. OEM style, so should work pretty easily. And then of course you got four of them. So those things, that's all that's contained in the stage one package. So your coil packs, diverter valve, tuner, spark plugs, lollipops. That's what gets you stage one. So um, stage one, if I remember correctly, I believe, I think this was about 500 bucks maybe a little bit more. I'll go ahead and put the price down here on the bottom of the screen. But yep, yeah, so this was five. No, it had to have been more. I'm not sure. It'll be on the screen. Um, let's get the second box opened up. All right, so here we go. Box number two. This is going to be our crossover pipe. Wait. Wait. All right, so basically what happens, let's go ahead and set this up like this. So if we are on the back side of the engine right now, this part here hooks up to your downpipe. And so it'll be sitting in the car like this. So it has to cross over underneath the car and then run down if this was the passenger side. So basically what they were explaining to me on the phone is that when Mazda puts their engine in the car, their exhaust runs down the passenger side of the car. Well, when Fiat puts their engine in the car, their exhaust from the turbo comes out on the driver's side. So in order to get the exhaust to run down the back side of the car and out, um, they needed to cross it over. Well, when they designed the pipe to go to cross over um, stock, they actually made, they crimped it and made it really small here in the middle. I think he said it was about an inch and a half diameter. And this takes it up to, I think it's probably about a two or two and a half inch, probably two and a half inch pipe. So you're gaining it, let me get this out of the way. You're gaining about an inch of diameter in the pipe. And he said, this is the most restrictive part of the exhaust system, even compared to like a high flow cat or, I mean, I'm assuming if you go catless, obviously you'd get a lot more than just this pipe. I'm not sure on that. I'm sure somebody will correct me if they know better, 
but he said this is one of the major restrictions in the exhaust system. And since we already have the record Monza uh, muffler, so the upgraded factory muffler, he said this will work perfectly with that. And then eventually down the road, um, if we do want to do a catless downpipe or a high flow cat um, or catted downpipe, then we could always switch it up then and then that'll just bolt right up here and then we're good and we can keep the record Monza exhaust that we have on the car. Because he said their shop car that they do all, all their testing on actually still maintains the factory record Monza exhaust. Now let's go ahead and look here. You get your some clamps, some more lollipops. Oh snap, there we go. A couple stickers and stuff. And then what do we got here? So this, I believe, if I remember correctly, yep, this is heat wrap. So it comes with a two inch by 35 foot roll of heat wrap. So that will be what these clamps are for. Let me just start up here at the top and then wrap the heat wrap all the way around to help keep the heat from transferring from the pipe through the floor of the car. So a little bit of heat management there and then you just use these clamps to hold the heat wrap onto the pipe. But yeah, overall, I mean, that's pretty much it. And just these two little boxes of a couple stuff. So one piece of exhaust and some spark plugs and stuff and a tune. And that gives us, like he said, almost 50 wheel horsepower, which is absolutely insane in a car that only weighs like 2,300 pounds. So it should be a, a substantial improvement. Now, if we don't end up going to the dyno to do a before and after, I have done a video before with my draggy doing the zero to 60. I might do another one. Um, just to verify the times, make sure they're still kind of the same. And then, um, we'll do that. So we'll at least have a draggy test, like a zero to 60 before and after, um, the parts. And then maybe if I can find the time, we're going to be getting real busy and we're also running into the later part of the year, but I would like to get it to a drag strip. Not sure it's going to happen. Maybe we'll see, but we got some, uh, big things planned here, but that's going to be it for this video today on what parts we have now it's just a matter of when i get them installed onto the car um i could do all the spark plugs and stuff that's pretty easy i might take the exhaust to uh, a buddy's shop of mine and have him put it on real quick it won't take long but i just don't feel like crawling around on my construction garage floor and putting this on so i might just have him slap that on real quick for me and then we'll get it tuned up and it should make a very big difference. Now, we still, I do want to move up to the stage two, which is going to have the, um, it adds an intake and the uh, front mount intercooler. Unfortunately, he told me through your compulsion, um, those parts are on back order. So he said they might come in by the end of the year. I have already signed up for like the notification list. Um, so any of you out there that are looking for these parts, just know, go ahead on their website and sign up for the notify me when available. And then they said they'll send out emails or text messages when the parts do become available. But as soon as they are available, I will be ordering them and we'll, we will be slapping those on the car. And then he said with that, um, we'll be making well over 200 wheel horsepower on the one, two, four spider, which is going to be absolutely insane in a car that's that light. So that should be really, really fun to um, do. And then we'll, of course, that'll probably become springtime and then we'll be able to take it out and test it and stuff. But if you're still watching this far into the video, you're going to get a little sneak peek at something here. I'm up to something. I've talked about it before on the channel recently, but we're up to something and it might have something to do with what's right there. So if you're still watching, you know what it is. Don't spoil it in the comments. Don't spoil it. But um, we got a lot of good content coming very soon over the next few weeks. So stay tuned. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead, comment below, give us a like, and I will see you guys in the next one. Take care. Have a great day.